Well, let's talk. Get take a moment to talk about what's going on on cable TV. Now we know a lot has been going on. There's been some a lot of sh- shuffling and changes. Uh, we know some channels are shutting down or being shifted away uh, to stre- to streaming. You know, we've seen some new stuff come out. Uh, like MeTV has a Toon channel now, similar to Cartoon Network. Uh, we've seen changes at Cartoon Network, more toward an Adult Swim situation. Uh, they've expanded all the way to about 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, is their starting is their starting point with some classic, uh, older cartoons like Dexter's Laboratory, uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, and many others. Uh, on Fridays, you got the return of Afternoon Tsunami with Dragon Ball uh, Z, uh, Sailor Moon, and, and uh, Naruto. But, you know, what? what's going on here? And I'm going to put this perspective. I believe at this point, and we're talking, this is the beginning of October, that we're seeing the beginning of the end for the Sci-Fi Channel. And for those of you who are not too familiar, is that there is a science fiction channel. We're not talking about Comet TV. And Comet TV has their issues re- recent, of recent. Sci-Fi Channel started a long time ago, back in the, right, right at the, uh, let's see, anime was starting to get into America. Uh, cable TV was king. The internet was still a little parts of the way. It, was, it wasn't really as expansive as it was. Um, most of the internet stuff that you on there was just very dial up ish, as you would say, it was very slow. But you know, you had all these channels that were coming out, and Sci Fi Channel happened to be one of them, and they had some great stuff on there. I mean, this is where we got our Farscape, our Stargate SG One, even though those came over from uh, other cable services like Showtime, uh, Lex. Uh, we had some of the old stuff, Star Trek and the Incredible Hulk and Batman, the, the original series on all of those. On the weekends, we had anime. Yeah, that's right. We had anime uh, on the weekends on the Sci-Fi Channel. They used to have those Sci-Fi marathons. And we got uh, Demon City Shinjutsu, Wicked City, uh, Project Echo. Uh, we had on there uh, uh, Vampire Hunter, uh, many others. Uh, Lily Cat. That's one place where I got to see Lily Cat for the first time, which was a really good horror uh, anime out there. And they had met much and it's movies and stuff like that. But in the years as they as they grew the network started to change a lot. They went into the point where a lot of the classic stuff was pushed away for more newer series. And like I said, you know, you had the Farscape, you had the Lex, they thought it was was good. But then you started to see other series that came out of it. Some were hits, some were misses. Valiant Queen is one of them. Uh, a couple of zombie ones, horror ones. Uh, then you had those Saturday night uh, low-budget uh, horror films, especially like, you know, Cobra Cobra versus Shark and this, this, and that. You know, whatever you could think of. And of course, you know, Sharknado series came out of this as well. Uh, but the thing about it is the cartoon, the sci-fi channel itself started to shrink a bit as far as viewership. Especially when you had the internet come in, you can watch whatever you want as far as science fiction. And you had free channels like Comet TV that was out there, which now you can't even get it on free streaming anymore. Their website, you can still watch it a little bit. And if you have cable TV or an antenna, you should, you'll be able to still get it. But slowly, they're, they're uh, pulling back from that. And they still have some great content. I tell, no, no offense, Comet TV has got some great content. And the content that Sci-Fi Channel was de- dealing with in the back in the 80s. I mean, you had the Friday, Friday the 13th TV series, Tales from the Dark Side series, Monsters. Uh, you, of course, SG-1's on there. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, X-Files, and many others that are, you know, should be on the Sci-Fi channel, but they're not. And the reason why I say this today, and um, just recently, we heard that the Chucky TV series will not be going forward with a season four. It will be left as a cliffhanger. 
Don Mancini has pledged that he's going to try to get it done on another network. Hey, Don, uh, Shutter, Shutter, you might want to talk with Shutter. Uh, but, you know, yeah, and I see it, you know, see it going to Shutter. If anything, Shutter should get the rights to that. But I think that it's going to be probably they're going to have to pay some money out on that, especially since Shutter works with AMC. But the thing about it is, and I say this, you might say, well, you know, Chucky wasn't that great. It was good, you know. But why do you think that? Why do you think, man, man? Why do you think that basically Chuck, because of Chucky that um, you're seeing the end of the Sci-Fi Channel? Well, it's not only that. Next season, uh, and as far as this series go, which is one of their top rated series, if you're familiar with Resident Alien, the comedy uh, out there, it's uh, I haven't watched it myself, uh, but um, it happens to be a good series, from what I understand. Alan, Alan Tudyk was in it, who was in the Firefly TV series, and uh, from what I understand, a lot of people have enjoyed it. It's one of the highest rate. They have like about three and a half million viewers on a constant, according to Nielsen. But they they have been renewed, but it will not be on the Sci-Fi Channel. It will be moved to the USA Network. Why is that? Why would you sit there? This is NBC Universal. Why would you move your top-rated show off of the Sci-Fi Channel? Now, I understand that next year, uh, actually, they're working on it right now, uh, supposedly, that they're, they're working on an Annabelle TV series uh, for probably next season, which, okay, that's fine and dandy. Does anybody want to watch an Annabelle TV series? I don't know. You know, my wife loves horror. She's watched a lot of horror lately. The last horror thing we watched to get together uh, was the season premiere of The Walking Dead, The Book of Carol. And uh, Uzumaki, which I enjoyed, and she got into a little bit because it was a little bizarre in nature because, you know, she walks around with a Tumi t-shirt on. So basically, you know, you have that. But, you know, you look to the perspective. is like, do we really need an Annabelle TV series? Do we really want one? Or something new, something changed? But why, again, why would you take your top-rated TV show off of one network and Flip it to another network. Are you trying to save the USA Network? Most people that watch the USA Network are used to like other shows. I mean, you guys have been sharing like some of the stuff off the sci-fi channel like Chucky and Resident Alien. Uh, It's not the first time they've done this. Years ago, they did they did the same thing with Farscape and Stargate SG-1. Uh, They used to throw an episode or two on there to. Uh, help promote the sci-fi channel because there's some people that you know didn't have the sci-fi channel at the time but like i said you look at that perspective that if you're taking off your top rated show as we paused for a moment as my wife just walked in with coffee and donuts thank you honey (laughs) um but yeah again why Do we have a point where your top-rated show is moved to another network? Are you killing off the network? What are you trying to do? You don't you don't move your your best show. You know, you keep that show and try to build from it, build something similar to it that you know spin off the show. Are you doing a spin-off of the show? I don't know. You know, I don't watch sci-fi channel like I used to. You know, it's been about, what, 15, 20 years? Once in a blue, I might go by it because, you know, and catch something that I might, a particular movie or something. But most of the time, I'm watching Spanguli on the weekends or a couple of other channels or YouTube itself. You know, Creature Features. Creature Features has some great films on Fridays and Saturdays here on YouTube. If you haven't caught that yet, there's some creature creature feature Fridays, and then the Saturday nights about what is it eleven or twelve o'clock it, it, on the East Coast. It's basically they do the creature feature Saturday, and they do a whole and they do interviews and stuff like that, like the old 
the old school uh, horror shows that used to be on a long time ago. Like I said, this, you know, I'm throwing this out. You know, is sci-fi in a, in, in a decline? And I think it is. I think it is at this point. You know, I think it, it's past its prime. You know, Comet TV is probably going to last longer than the sci-fi channel, possibly. But we'll see. So comment in the lines below. Let me know your thoughts about this as I take my first sip of coffee. Mm. Ooh, that's strong. And uh, you let me know. Tell me. Don't forget to hit that like. Share this video, and hopefully today's the day I earn your subscription. For the thousands of videos you could have chosen, I thank you. You chose us. We really do appreciate that. So until next time, here's coffee to you with a donut in it, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.